Okay, we got Kong FU. I just put the word out to the guild. Don't fucking sleep on these guys. Um, they're doing very well in this rumble. Uh, they're right there in the pack, honestly. Um, they're triple digits with Salt Mart. Salt Mart was pretty close to us. Uh, if you look at all our scores with Big Bad Wolves, I mean, uh, they could pull it off. Kong FU could pull this off. So it is my goal. I know I often say this, particularly in October, um, that I'm going to play smart and precise. And then I don't because, fuck, I'm overworked this month. But I'm going to play calm and precise and smart. So, we're going to start with the item, obviously, and we have another item, so we're set up really well here. Um, I see absolutely, now, so here's the thing, I could definitely play none, right? It's going to just pound out slot two, um, but I do run into a little bit of an issue where slot two is going to take some damage, right? Um, if they play like an item or something there, 50 is no joke. But I do like the fact that I can immediately get 27 shield, right? Plus my 10, sturdy, that's 37, plus my 3 cripple. So that's 40 damage prevention immediately. So I'm going to go that route. Now, if I only had a PC or maybe I had all characters or something, sure. Because right now, Peggy would hit over there for 50 but it would leave, well, minus four, right? Um, so Peggy would have left 33, uh, some odd damage, something like that. I'm not sure. Um, so what I'm going to do is prepare for what I imagine um, is going to be a combo and play the item. Now, I could always play this. I definitely could, but I'm not going to go that route. Um... And ignore my math on how much damage I would have left on that. I, I wasn't counting that bodyguard from slot two. Um, now, excuse me for a moment. My music just died on me. So I'm going to hit pause here. Okay. So this Jimmy actually changes everything what I was planning. I was thinking about putting Franny here. And specifically because I have mad punches, right? Which are now, now all cut down by half. Um, but I'm also going to shield back to slot 1. And if I shield it back to slot 1, I mean, you're not really doing any damage to me here. Um, because I am taking some bomb and things like that. But what I'm going to do instead, because um, I'm a little bit worried. So I could certainly pop on this bomb, um, this high shield and this high sturdy. On this card right just to stop shift from hitting in slot two um and i'll help out with slot one because slot one realistically with that heal on it and that extra bodyguard that motherfucker is staying so i'm gonna non peggy it just to make sure that we get rid of it and now um now i'm gonna pc it i don't want to feed slot two and let it actually start hurting my peggy um, this will put a little bit of shield on slot one, so we'll be straight for slot one for a while. Now, Peggy is taking a little bit of damage. She does have bomb and everything, but that Meg's going to die, so we're cool there. And what I'm actually going to do here, contrary to uh, what might seem to pack some, some HP, um, I'm kind of thinking about what's going to happen here. So, Peggy's going to hit some mad bomb. I'm going to hit my 33 offense. Most likely, I'm looking at Meg and Steve dying, uh, which in turn would block slot one with their next card no matter what. Slot three hits, and I get a heal in slot four. And that's what I'm banking on. Now, um, now that that's happened, I had to think to myself, am I going to get another heal? So I'm going to hit with this 20, and I'm going to hit with this 14 for sure. Uh, 34 damage. 70, that's 42 damage left on this fucker. Uh, now, here's the thing. 
Um, if I hit 44 punch minus half and well, I think I'm going to come back and it's a risk. It's a risk to put another Franny in. I think it's possible that I might get another heal and I'm going to go with it because uh, I'm going to try to. So the punch hit perfectly. This, oh, one. One damage over there. That's rough. So I'm actually not going to get the extra heal now that we look at it. Um, what I was hoping was a slot three played as opposed to a slot one. Um, but in hindsight, my Franny would have fucking done damage in slot one. And this Franny on the outside was never, ever going to do any damage. So it would have been a little bit better playing Heavy Metal Haley. Because uh, I was never getting that slot five healing. Uh, it was a bad move. Uh, I miscalculated. Uh, which I really wish I would have gotten those heals in. I got a 98. If I would have played that PC instead, maybe I got a 99. Maybe I got a hundred. Not sure. It was a poor move, but at least we thought about it, um, which is more more than I can say on my recent play. So again, obviously we're gonna item here and then assess the damage. Okay, so Jimmy here, Jimmy, Jimmy, Jimmy. Um, so what I'm looking at with Franny is pretty much. 44 damage. I'm not using zap. So we're looking at just 44 not 44. I'm sorry 77 um, So Jimmy here is at and fours and fives and six and then he's gonna have the shield 80 so I'm not gonna want to KO him now. I could bob it. However Jimmy combos there. He's gonna start eating some of that bob can do a lot of damage to bob I'm gonna end up winning a little bit too early. I don't like that I think I would much rather do this. Oh, I was thinking the other Jimmy we just saw. So this is a different situation entirely. So that's going to eat a lot of points. So we're going to go ahead and play uh, Witch Costume, obviously. And we're going to go ahead and shield our slot one a little bit. Now, we have a 44 punch and a 14... So that's going to lead me down to 30 punch, so good. I will be able to leech, but I am gassed. And, uh, that sucks. God, that gas hurts so bad. Um, that gas hurts more than my leech. So here's where I'm at right now. I want slot one to die. I really do. Um, but she's going to end up punching slot one, then hitting it. And the gas is 30, and it doesn't really show the leech, which really sucks. But I'm hoping... Oh, I'm hoping it's less than 14. I'm really hoping that dies. So I'm going to immediately... Um, mm, I'm just going to start putting in the HP. Oh god, please die. I think it's actually going to die. If we looked, it went down uh nine last time so i should be good to go we should be able to play this highest hp and she should die oh no she didn't die oh uh, why doesn't why didn't the gas is the gas at the end of the turn i'm fucking something up here i fucked something up really bad there I have my order of operation wrong, obviously. Because she got the leech in... And the 30... So she got the leech in back up to 28. But then the 30... Somewhat gas... Hit. So I think the gas... Hits at the end of the turn. But not when it's the last turn. Something like that. Which is a shame. That could have been 100. Anyways. I mean, nothing we can do about it whether we're doing the math right or wrong there so now we're running into another gas situation uh which is gonna hurt however this time this time she's fucking dead right there's no way she survives so i'm actually gonna put in peggy here 
So that way slot two can't even touch them and I'm just ramming slot one. Well, I'm ramming slot one one as long as he plays a slot two. So I kind of made a mistake guys. Uh, that bomb's not going to do shit, but that's an open slot too. Oh, I fucked up. Oh, well. Um, so, what to do, what to do, what to do, what to do, what to do. Um, I can s certainly... I can certainly combo here, but if I combo here... I am making sure that nothing ever plays in slot two. Uh, I think what I'd rather do, hear me out. Put in my highest HP so that way I have the most leech in slot one. It's not a ton of damage. Um, and hopefully something plays in that slot two. But if it combos Farns, he's going to do some damage on me. Ha, <laughs> he does some damage on me. Um, that's fine. I'm going to play this item out here. Because I want to extend this just a little bit. And Farns is going to hurt me. But I'm going to heal out here, right? No, I still want Farns to kill slot 1. So if I play Franny, I have the possibility of shielding him by 27 plus the 18 plus the 12, and he's not going to die unless Farns hits him. Unless Farns hits him with a punch. Now, <sighs> so I don't want to protect slot one that much. I really don't. Um, I'm going to be a lot better off, I think. If I play either the PC on the outside, which will give me a little bit more damage on the outside to carry this home, or if I play Francine on the outside for more heal. Now playing Francine on the outside does get a little bit a little bit risky here, because if one of the punches comes out here, it does hurt my butt. And there is quite a bit of cripple out there. I'm not doing much damage on those outsides, so I think I'm going to do the heavy metal. Try to extend this. Try to get, try to get this motherfucker to die. Hmm. I want death. I need death. I don't want to win this round at all. I definitely don't want to win this round. That's important. Um. It's very important. Now. At this point, if I play this, I'm going up to 17, 19. So here's a couple things I'm thinking. I could play this bad boy, and I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get that, that cheer on the outside, which I don't want that cheer on the outside right now. That's 23 plus seven, I win. So that's not a good choice. Um, I also, if I leave Witch, I have the possibility of healing 12 on the Masked Hero. Bring me up to 14, uh, which I think he still dies. So that's safe enough. So what I'm going to do is play Haley on the outside. It won't be too much to win this round, but it guarantees me the win next round. Uh, so I'm good there, and hopefully these things die. I want slot... Oh, shit, it healed so much good, he died. And please die, slot three. Perfect, that die. Now, I know this looks really ugly. And it is ugly. I took 47, but that's what we wanted. It's exactly our best-case scenario here, was simply having all these cards full health, getting a 93 really fucking ugly but if my slot one of my slot three would have survived say if i played franny into opera house in slot three and it cheered slot four and i won fuck i would have like an 80 or something i mean maybe less 
Because that would have been two slots with fucking barely any health. It would have been really bad. Really, really bad. And slot two wouldn't have healed all the way by then. I don't think. Maybe it would have. Would have been bad. So anyways. We're going to Opera House at home. And... A mm, couple options. I, I could protect. I'm going to protect because I'm going to one hit KO. And this 15 punch will help me uh, continue to one hit KO. As well as this one. So that should really one hit KO anything at this point. Um, just the high HP. Okay. If we can get a couple more of those, that would be great. Oh, Gucci. Alright, so I don't really like opening Peggy in slot 1 too much. But... Uh, Warhorse makes me think I'm going to see quite a few of those. I don't want to leave a witch out there. So we're going to fuck that slot 2 up so bad right here. And now this is going to shield my slot 1 and punch. Oh, this, this guy can't touch me. So Peggy worked out really well, actually. It does scare me, though, because uh, PC's fine. PC's fine. But um, say you play non-Peggy and they play non-Peggy slot one. Fuck, it sucks so bad. It's really, really, really hard not to lose just on cards because you start fucking up their slot two they start fucking up your slot two everyone's fucking up each other's slot two then all of a sudden you're out of cards um so dp 505 with the 30 card defense or is i don't know honestly for some reason i just noticed it was 25 on his side and 20 on mine because i drew the five cards and i don't know if that's just counting his deck or if he's drawn the five cards and has 25 more that's something I'll pay attention to next turn. So we're just going to do the PCs first. Fuck. This is a bad situation, guys. This is a really bad situation. That thing is just going to die. So I have to combo out here because everything dies in slot two. And uh, I'm fucked. I'm super fucked. I need to punch slot two right now or slot three <sighs> i got so lucky right there if i didn't punch slot three and it survived um my slot two is just gonna die repeatedly as they built out on me damn i got lucky with that 91 horrible hand um but it went really well given the circumstances okay so i'm an idiot this guy's got 25 cards too so here we are, me just recognizing that it shows their full deck and not what they drew. This shows how much attention I've paid to that. I don't know why, it just dawned on me right then. Um, okay, so we're going for the basic Franny on Franny love here. Now, before I do that, because um, I'm really not going to take any damage to slot 2, and I have the heals, and I have the leeches, and this is not a damaging PZ sprawl. Um, I'm not going to take the damage uh, from slot 3 to my hero. In fact, I'm going to come out here, I'm going to put down more witches, and I'm going to work um, towards keeping myself healed up. Now, this PC does do damage. It's quite the fucker. Um... So we do have a little bit of a situation now. So there's a couple ways to go about this, quite frankly. Um, I mean, I could always keep building some heal on the outside, but I don't really want to do it with Franny. I'm going to come in with an opera house and just build up these punches and these shields and these cheers. And I'm going to break through a little bit, hopefully, here. Um, at this point, I am going to build some more heal back there. I'm not too concerned with things everything's fine and i want to get some heal behind my slot four um so that way i can heal back up after that payback 
that payback's a little bit of a fucking bitch. Um, so I'm just stacking up here. I got all the heals down the line, got the 100. Uh, if it was like all mags at PCs, I'd have to go a bit more aggressive. But honestly, guys, um, if you're playing really beefy whiskey bartenders and laser tags, you got to have some killer combos in there. Otherwise, it becomes um, really no danger. Um, unless they run out of cards. There's always the danger of running out of cards, but there wasn't... Uh, there wasn't enough cripple or anything. Okay, so I can one hit KO Peggy, right? Yeah. Okay. Sorry, I had to be careful there. Um, again, I promised I was gonna be careful. I haven't played everything right, but at least I'm thinking about it. And that's all. That's all you can ask of yourself. Um, if I didn't want to hit KO Peggy and she comboed, fuck, I'm fucked. I would really would have had to play Bob if I couldn't one hit KO, um, to get the craze going. Um, but we one hit KO, so we're good. Um, so here we are again. What I'm going to do, I'm not going to build out because Bob is, uh, Bob's a threat and I want to make sure I kill him. Uh, so I'm going to up my chances here while again shielding everything so he's dead that's great and what that also does make sure slot one died and we're in the clear so i'm just gonna play a witch and we're good to go so we got super lucky against uh that the characters came and not the items if the item when it came then none me then none came out i'd be fucked and when the item comes, and I can't kill it, and Bob comes out, fuck. Shit hurts, man. My shield's got nothing for Bob. He just jabs right through. Uh, so Dirty Birdie here. We're going to do our standard. Standard procedure. Now, what I'm going to do here is actually pop in slot two. Uh, some of I wasn't hitting these earlier, and honestly, it's it a really bad choice. Um... If you see what just happened, nothing happened. 